throughout history, there has been a day so fraught with tragedy, one could easily surmise it is a day cursed by God. It is a day of destruction, calamity, exile and loss of possessions, a day of fear, a day of mourning. But why has there been so much suffering on this day? What is the mystery of the ninth of art? The ninth day of the fifth month on the ancient Hebrew calendar. To understand this day, one must first understand this calendar. Since it is based on cycles of the sun and moon, it is not synchronized to our calendar. The ninth day falls on a different day each year in July or August. A Hebrew day begins at sundown and ends at sundown the next day. But why is this day so cursed? The trouble began over 3000 years ago in the 1300s before Christ. The ancient Israelites, after breaking their bondage and leaving the comforts of Egypt behind, seek the promised land. Led by Moses, they spend nearly a year in the desert of Sinai. But they complain of the hardships all the while. Finally, they reach the borders of the land promised to their forefathers. And when they arrived, God commanded them to send men to explore the land. So they dispatched spies to the land of Canaan. And they dwelt there for 40 days. And indeed it was flowing with milk and honey. And the spies returned on the eighth of Av, with the fruit of the land. But they reported of many strong peoples there, and armies, and walled cities. And they were like grasshoppers in their sight. And the Israelites feared for the lives of their women and children. Even after all the miracles they witnessed God perform, the parting of the Red Sea, and the drowning of the Egyptian soldiers. The wheels of their chariots, found in 1978, still resting at the bottom. The manna from heaven, and the splitting of the rock for water, which still stands to this day in Saudi Arabia. Yet they grumbled against God, and they nearly stoned Moses. So they refused to enter the famed land of milk and honey, despite what God had told them, that he would deliver them there. And the children of Israel wept. And the next day was the ninth of Av. And God was angered, for they refused to trust him, after all he had done for them. And God said, how long will these people treat me with contempt? How long will they refuse to believe in me? I will strike them down. So Moses pleaded with God for forgiveness of his people, and God forgave them. But he forbade them to enter the land. Yet they decided to go anyway. And Moses pleaded with his people not to disobey God, but they attempted anyway, and were sorely defeated. So they wandered the wilderness for forty years. Not one of them lived to see the land promised to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Not even Moses was allowed to enter the promised land. He could only gaze upon it from afar. And so began the curse of the ninth of Av.